Jordan, if Jason comes and attacks those two humans, you get your ass away. Don't save them. Run back to Corey Feldman, and you can all go be in the Goonies. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Michael G. Munns, author, geek, and former teenage bear wrestler. And here is where you watch me watch horror and sci-fi movies that for some reason I have... Some raisin? Raisin. That for some reason I have never seen before. Tonight I'm continuing into the Friday the 13th series with Friday the 13th Part 4, subtitle which I have not looked up yet. But I think it's actually more than just Part 4. I could be wrong about that. I will find out very shortly, but I am really looking forward to this one. You guys all told me that four is so much better than three. So, I mean, granted, that's a low bar for me, but I am very eager to see this one. You said that Jason's the scariest that he's ever been. I'm not sure if you meant the whole series or up to this point. Again, I'm looking forward to that because one thing I really missed in number three was just being so startled and, 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 and being pulled into the movie itself. Not literally, because, 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 uh, you know, dead. But being engaged with the movie so much that I'm, I am shouting at the characters and jumping out of my seat and, and just generally having a great time with the movie. So my, I guess my anticipation on this one is high, even though I really have no idea what's going to happen if anyone from three comes back. I guess the only person who could come back would be Chris. Before we start, of course, uh, if you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button. And if you find me interesting at all and want to hear or see more from me, uh, there's always the books that I've written down in the description. But let's get on with the movie. I'm going to grab some popcorn, get the... Hmm, normally I would also say I'm going to get some cider, but I think tonight I'll be drinking a pumpkin ale because it's October and that stuff ain't going to drink itself. So I will be right back and we'll start the movie. I also forgot to mention I'm very much looking forward to seeing who gets the Ned Award for movie number four. Well, that's another thing I want to figure out, how he gets out of this, because he was lying there with an axe in his head at the end. Is he going to be resurrected? Did he just sort of shake it off and walk away? The final chapter. Corey Feldman? Cool. Crispin Glover? Ha! Now, now, Jason, I want to see two coats of wax on the machete this time, not just one. Go! Get to the chopper! You shouldn't you be wearing gloves for that? That'd be a fun show. CSI Crystal Lake. They're my dad. The local undertakers have got to be doing a huge business on this particular weekend. Did they pick up uh, Rick's eyeball? Be like right over there on the, in the dirt, probably. There is the hobo from the last movie. Gonna find it and add to his collection. In my eyeball. In the room with the dead bodies, really. I've been there. Put him in there. Close it up. Padlock it. I'm not sure that's entirely an exercise video now that I think about it. Oh! Oh! Ooh! Bone saw! Or whatever that saw. Saw ba- Ooh! Twisty! Get lost, Axel. I'm busy. I've had more than enough of you for one night. Well, I got good news for you. Oh, Ooh, is that Zaxxon? But what happens if the psycho wanders in? Probably challenging to the game of Zaxxon. Yeah, Zaxxon! <laughs> Points for me. Would you lighten up on her? She's over. It's Crispin Glover. What? And he better hope that car doesn't stop quickly. Where are we now? We're in the car. Doggy. Hey, Gordon. You do it with everybody. I do it with Paul. Paul! Paul? Really? It's probably not the same Paul. P. 
Puberty's hitting him weird. That rope, it's bothering me that it's so low to the water. I'm now wondering, like, does Jason have a fear of the water? How many people are in this movie? Let me just take this stranger up to my bedroom. Wow, he's worse than me. Wanna give Teddy Bear a kiss? Teddy, Teddy, I... Dude. <laughs> I've got to get another Don't be such a big buck. He really likes that phrase a little bit too much. I, what the f***? I think that's funny. <laughs> Tina! All right! Put on another record. Okay, I was... I think Ted. Is that his name, Ted or Teddy? He's the been the front runner for the Net Award. But Blue Hat's being kind of a douche. They were together, right? Him and the girl in the red shirt. Although Ted's more annoying than Blue Hat, who I guess is named Paul also. Paul's being a dick. See, I would figure that the water would be the safest place to be if you're worried about Jason, given his drowning issues. Now I'm suddenly wondering if she's going to get stabbed from underneath the water. I'm a little bit nervous, because that'd be gross. And... Paul? Paul? Screw you, Paul. Uh, yep. Okay, so Jason has faced his fear of water. So I'm officially giving the Ned Award to Teddy. Assuming that's his actual name. Dude, get a new line. Oh, is Jason still in the lake? Is he like somewhere in the corner, like a frog with just like eyes over his or just out of the water? It's not gonna it's not gonna oh. Two to one, he doesn't even make it out of the water. Oh, God! Did that go where I... Yeah, it did. That was uncomfortable for me. And you laughed at it. Good for you. He's out here hunting Jason, isn't he? Oh. Dude, don't slowly inspect the gun. Stand up. Look around, find out who did this. I mean, if, if they're like, look behind you, is what I'm trying. All I'm saying. It's not that funny, dude. Yeah, definitely. Definite net award. Tina, I'm gonna leave without you. That, that's what she just told you to do. Take an umbrella. That's not an umbrella, that's a poncho. She can't follow directions. That was effective, the lightning. That was that was freaky and cool. I like that she's calling more for the dog than she is for her kids. I mean I actually do like that. <laughs> you know, bunk beds have not turned out well for this for people in this franchise. Mom? Gordon? Where is Gordon? I'm gonna worry about Gordon. What the hell are you doing here? What are you trying to do? Kill me? I thought you were someone else. I have syphilis. Last night, Darth Vader came down from Planet Vulcan, and only if I don't take her rain out of the dance, it's gonna melt my brain. I got so caught up in my George McFly impression that I suddenly f re forgot what series I'm watching and that they're probably about to get stabbed in horrible, horrible ways. Hey, Ted, where's, where's that, uh, that corkscrew, that fancy corkscrew for the wine bottle? No, someone's getting stabbed with a corkscrew. Ted? Possibly Ted. Hey! Ted! Maybe it's already been used Ted. to stab hey, what's-her-name. Ted, where the hell's the corkscrew? 
There it is. Ow. Oh, ooh. See, you should have stayed upstairs, dumbass. Now he's dead. I can't use my plan. Hey, you, get your damn hands off her line. He screwed up my whole plan. It's very selfish of him. And the really terrible thing is, how are they going to open the wine bottle now? No! Jesus! Dude, take the stairs! She could be okay. So you wanna give the old teddy bear a kiss? Did he bump the screen, or is Jason behind the screen? It's Jason behind the key. Yes, project. Jimbo! Jimbo! Is that him? <laughs> Maybe? <gasps> He's behind the screen. <sighs> also, yay! Teddy's dead! So, everybody in the house is dead at this point, except for those two. Tangerine. Stop singing. Jason's here to shower you with affection. I'm immediately sorry for that pun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, 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 please don't stop watching. Hey, Paul, is that you? No, Polly died in a very horrible way. Jason, don't appreciate you. Ooh, ow. Ooh, uh, 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 nose thingy. You know, I got to hand it to Jason. He's doing really well for a guy who had a machete right down here and an axe in his head. He sets a goal. He keeps at it. He could give inspirational speeches. You know, if he could talk. I am 35 years old, thrice hit with machetes, and I live in a canoe down by the river. <laughs> they're, they're dead. Everybody dead. Try, try different. Oh, Jesus! I went right through that door. So if he'd watch these movies, Sorry. he knows they should all he would know they should all stay their ass together. Yeah, leave the child alone by himself. And again, children are not don't seem to be Jason's main targets. But he's the first kid we've seen in one of these movies, so you never know. Oh Gordon's back. Good. Gordon, if Jason comes and attacks those two humans, you get your ass away. Don't save them. Run back to Corey Feldman. And you can all go be in the Goonies. I kind of want to know more about his story and like how he learned about Jason that Jason killed his sister. I mean, I guess he's kind of already explained it, but I would like a little bit more character development on his part. That'd be that'd be interesting. No, stay right here with Gordon. No, stick together. People are always splitting up. Saint Scooby Doo. Let's see who Jason really is. Nope, still Jason. I'd be worried about the stairs. Are the kind of stairs that have the gaps? Because my Achilles tendons are feeling very vulnerable right now. Gordon. Gordon's frightened. You get out. You just move. No, don't. Oh, go. Oh, oh. Maybe you should go downstairs if you think someone's there. Gordon. And get the. Uh, uh. Gordon ain't, Gordon's done with this shit. Gordon's like, last? No, fuck it, I'm out of here. If there's any dogs out there watching this, don't jump through plate glass windows like that, because that will cut you up. That was a stunt dog and a stunt window. Gordon is the smartest creature in this film. Everybody dead. Let him get the knife. Ah, oh, Rob! Rob, you suck at your job. Run, Trish. Gordon got the f*** out of there. You should too. Run. No, not that. No. It's a little late now. Back out of the cellar. Rob's gone. 
What are you doing? Get your, he's under, he's gonna grab you from under the stairs. Turn around, get your ass out the cellar, woman. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Told ya. No, keep going. Oh, she's freaking out, okay. Ow. I mean, that'd be painful if you wasn't already dead. Well, just push past it. Okay, again, she's probably freaking out. She has this weird thing for dead bodies. Dude. No, don't look at him. Look at the person outside who threw the freaking body in the window. Yeah, see? Bite him, Corey. Bite him in the freaking ugly hands. He's like the Kool-Aid man. Find a weapon. Find a weapon. Find a weapon. Get a weapon. Find a weapon. Something heavy, something sharp, something semi-automatic. Oh, those are expensive! No, don't get him out of the house. Stab him with as many things as you can. Get heavy things, smash every part of his body. Hit him in the junk first. Just, just... Step on everything. Step on everything. Get the axe. Get the okay. Oh, she's going for the axe. Tell me you're going for the axe. Ah, fucking son of a bitch! Corey, go for the axe. Get the axe, Corey. Back. Oh, now she's fine jumping over the body. Trish is not my favorite of the quote-unquote final girls in this movie. But he jumped through plate glass windows. That is not good for you, people. I mean. Getting murdered isn't good for you either, but Gordon's probably like half a mile away by now. Knows it's good for him. Did somebody get the axe? Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so she's not completely useless. Tell me, what the fuck are you doing? It's just no time to have a Britney Spears freak out. Ooh, right in the finger crotch. Okay, Tommy's plan gets points for creative thinking that loses points for complexity. Jason! That's my name, don't wear it out! Again, points for thinking outside the box. Oh, ooh. So we, why did you drop the machete? Pick up the machete. Okay. Good, Corey. Ooh. Ah! Right in the. Oh! Oh! Ew! Ew! Oh! Oh! Man. Ew. Oh! Oh! That's. Oh! The head is going weird. That's effective. I love that Tommy took some time to put on some makeup too. Off with the head. Off with the head. Take off the head. Off with the head. Head. Is this guy like supernaturally powered? Cause, cause he is taking a lot of hits. Man has some high hit points. There you go. Tommy's the smartest person in the whole franchise. Also, He's going to need some therapy. He's going to be just fine. But right now, what you need is rest. Let's get a lot of counselors in to see Tommy. Tommy's going to be fucked up, isn't he? Yeah, I'm a little bit disturbed. We never did find out what happened to their mother. I mean, surely she's probably dead, but you never know. And Gordon got away, so that's good. The movie just ended. That was a definite improvement over number three. Um, as you saw, obviously, it had me jumping a lot more, had me more engaged with the characters, had me yelling at the screen a lot more. I liked it. It was good. I, I was suddenly thinking, how should I rate it in terms of comparison with the other three? Definitely better than the third one. It still did seem to be a little bit in the sense of a little bit just like a bunch of kids hanging out and getting picked off one by one. There wasn't too much of an actual story. So I kind of feel it feels like it's above or it's it's 
kind of behind number two, almost behind number one, maybe, but but still good. I mean, it, it's maybe tied with one somewhere somewhere in the one and two range, but uh, I was happy with it. I was excited. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was fun to see Crispin Glover. He's a very interesting person, as I understand, and it was just neat to see him here. Kind of, It was fun to see a, a young Corey Feldman again. I'm trying to think of other movies he's been in. I'm blanking. Well, I can think of The Lost Boys, uh, Goonies, and a bunch of other stuff that I'm blanking on. I didn't like... I'm terrible at remembering names in these movies. Um, Trish. It was Trish, right? Compared to Alice and... Alice and Chris and second movie girl i'm blanking on the name she was not as interesting to me as the others yeah she wasn't really it was sort of like she was almost detached from the rest of the group there was this group of of you know it was the the six kids who came and then then she lived next door and like stuff was happening over there and stuff was happening with her and it was just she was not as involved with the others she was panicking more than some of the others were sometimes although they all had their moments of panic which again is understandable I don't know how I would do in that situation, but somehow I just didn't find her as interesting as the others. Corey Feldman was was fun to see. That definitely creeped me out at the end when he was when he went for the whole shaved head thing and then he started hacking on Jason, which yeah, that's gotta mess a kid up. And I'm assuming that I, mean, well, I don't know how number five goes. I know that Jason is the is the antagonist in all these movies, so I'm pretty sure that the character doesn't become the next Jason. At least I think he doesn't. I guess they did mean for this to be the final chapter, but Dan, that boy can take some punishment. I mean, it's getting it, it was getting a bit ridiculous he's got the shoulder wound he's got the axe head thing he's got the, the hand thing happened and he's got you know 57 slices from the machete now at this point so if he's coming back it can only be a supernatural explanation if he comes back which i'm guessing is probably what they wound up doing but we'll find out teddy was definitely he he, he started slow i mean he made a he made an early bid for the uh, for the net award you know, he got in there early, he scored some early points, and was slowly building, you know, adding to his Ned Award cash, cachet. Did you pronounce that cash or cachet? I never really know. And then possibly the other guy, Paul. Paul? Why'd they pick Paul? Because they couldn't have picked another name from Paul. Paul? Because that's just confusing. But then he had some competition from Paul, who was Paul? like, you know, with his girlfriend, and then he's like, starts hitting on this other girl, and then he comes around at least, so points to that. He did get stabbed in the in the in the in the Aww. in the crotch area look kind of like it more it might have more been in the pelvis i mean you saw what it did to me you can quote me on that but then teddy came right back and and earned his net award and teddy got kind of a simple death he just got stabbed from behind for the through the screen i mean he didn't take it like crispin glover did he got uh, oh crispin with the corkscrew and then the stabbing and then the that was a much better horror experience than number three. I'm wondering what five's got in store. And I'm glad that Gordon got away. Good for Gordon. Gordon knew when to get the hell out of there. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like on the video. If you enjoyed me, of course, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, please feel free to check out my books linked in the description below. And I will see you all next time for whatever I watch next, whatever it may be. Again, thanks to everyone who's who's been watching. I love your comments. I love hearing what you thought. I especially love to know that I made you laugh because that's that's something that, that really motivates me. You know, I get a charge out of knowing that, that you guys are enjoying this. And that just keeps me wanting to make more and more videos. So thank you so much. And I will see you next time.